All right, uh, this is the document for number one. You'll see it was made by the National Assembly of France. Remember the National Assembly of France in the tennis court oath in the spring of 1789 declared itself to be the legislative assembly for all of France. And after the taking of the Bastille, there became a lot of traction that this was going to be the governing body, maintaining the king, but guaranteeing individual liberty, due process, a lot of stuff that you'll see in the American Bill of Rights. So you notice that they're listed there, that men are born free and equal and right. Social distinctions may be found only upon the general good, meaning that there's no more nobility. There's no more rights for people that are separate. Um, the aim of all political association is the preservation of the natural and irprescriptible or, or the natural rights of man. And these rights are liberty, property, security, and resistance to oppression. So the idea that the government itself and all political associations are supposed to protect the rights of individuals. As you go through all of this, you'll get a, a, scene, a sense that this is a change from when you have absolute monarchy, when there is no rights for all men, the king is the one who is going to be the absolute leader and would have no limits by any law as to what a person can do. So you look, for example, number seven, and talks about the right of people accused for crimes. You also see issues about the freedom of communication and the freedom of the press, things, that, again, that we see as part of the American uh, Bill of Rights. So take a look at this. This is your document for number one.